Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about caste survey and what is the difference between the caste survey and caste census. Do you think both are same? If yes, comment or else comment your opinion. What is the difference between the census and survey? So before we further discuss about this topic, first let us see the syllabus mapping, then we will go to the video components. This is the syllabus mapping. It is related to Indian polity and governance, which is in Gender Studies Paper 2. Video components. In this particular video, the learning objectives are why it is in news. It is in news because Bihar released their caste survey on the eve of Gandhi Jayanti on sec second October. We are going to discuss and we are going to analyze that survey and what are the implications of that survey, whether state government can do the caste census or not, what are the legal implications and if this kind of demands are coming up for across the nation what are going to be the consequences what is mean by caste census what you are going to uh, enumerate what is the importance of caste census significance and uh, what about the BR caste study what are the findings how many belong to OBC and how many belongs to the open category and SC and ST arguments in favor as well as against the caste census why is caste census always controversial and the end of this video we are going to discuss about what is this another one that is the socio-economic and caste census what is this is about how it is related how it is different from the caste survey what is the difference between the caste survey and socio-economic caste census we will find out at the end of the video meanwhile first let me show the data related to the Bihar caste survey it is not census it is survey now if you look at these numbers the total backward class of from this survey it is around OBC 63.1 percentage whereas scheduled caste 19 percentage scheduled tribe 1 percentage and the other other categories 15.2 percentage and out of this OBC the majority of the population belong to Adams 14 percentage next Kushwanas and Kurmis the present Nitish Kumar belong to this particular social social category so this is the some of the microscopic analysis regarding the different different castes so the same kind of category is in SE as well as in general in general Brahmin population and Rajput population more or less in similar way you know that very prominent person from Rajput you know like uh, Sushant Singh Rajput suicide he was from Bihar unfortunately at very young age uh, under suspicious conditions he died so this is the broad overview regarding the Bihar caste survey now in terms of religion 81.9 percentage Hindus and 17.7 percentage significantly high Islamic population and rest of the populations are very insignificant who are following different other religions let us see why it is in news already mentioned it is in news because Bihar government revealed the result of the caste survey on the Gandhi Jayanti census for the first time okay now forget about the Bihar caste census first we will try to understand what is the census okay and what is the difference between the census and survey first you have to understand what is the census census is nothing but systematic calculations of certain parameters related to population that is known as census fine when was the first time this kind of exercise tried for the first time it was tried in 1872 at that time viceroy was lord mayo but later since 1881 from then onwards we are systematically conducting the caste census for every how many years for every 10 years last time it was conducted in 2011 it was the 15th time but in 2021 government of India did not conduct this one because of the COVID pandemic next who will conduct it conducts by register general as well as census commissioner of India under the ministry of home affairs does it having any statutory backup S? Yes. Census will be carried according to the 1948 Census Act. And now let me explain what is the difference between the census and the survey. You know, state governments cannot conduct the census. Why? Because law related to census, it was made by the parliament in the form of the 1948 Census of India Act. Now, state government cannot make the own census because this jurisdiction only related with the parliament. That is the reason Bihar government, rather than using the word census, they use the word survey. I hope you understood. Because state government can do any executive action only when they have the legislative action. And under Article 162, 
state legislative function as well as the executive function they are the coterminous okay now let us see the caste census caste census means including inclusion of caste wise uh, data like we discussed earlier they see extend all the different type of data now tell me students the caste wise reservations caste wise reservations should not be more than 50 percentage should not be more than 50 percentage it was mentioned by supreme court in which judgment in which judgment so, so, so for the first time in 1952 caste wise data related to sc and st calculated of course the most interesting thing is in 2011 also 2011 census also they conducted the caste census but the mystery is the data is not revealed so if the data would have been revealed we don't know what kind of political repercussions it can have next what is the importance of caste census obviously when you have a data you can play with the data in any way you like in the previously i told you i shown the data related to different castes so if you know the caste numbers obviously you can tailor made you can target the welfare program to particular group and of course you can take the data in the in case of reservations in education as well as employment if you look at the article 16 class 4 it is clearly saying that employment i mean reservations in the public employment related to sc st and socially educationally backward class unless i mean till at what till they are adequately represented adequate representation is what based on their population for that you require the data and finally to ascertain the backwardness of the class if you have a data in your hand you can tell them that okay we are this much population but still we are having only limited opportunities so you can fight for the opportunities these are all the significance of the of the caste survey why is bihar conducting the caste census like i said general usage is there like targeting of welfare program and specific for the bihar politics because everything is revolving around the politics caste census we always we already discussed regarding the 2011 and at the data also we discussed already forward caste minority scst what is a percentage and here the most interesting thing again i would like to tell you the difference between the caste census and caste survey like i said earlier census is a subject matter of union government states on their own cannot do the census that was even reiterated by the patna high court as well patna high court clearly mentioned that bihar government don't have the legal competency to do the census that is the reason on the name of the census i mean on the name of the survey they conducted the census that you have to understand survey is about conduct i mean taking the data it in the form of the opinion whereas census is in the accurate fact in the prescribed manner and in this survey they ensured that the right to privacy of the individuals will be protected data security will be protected and they can reveal their data only on voluntary basis why they were ensured this because already there are demands that this kind of survey should be conducted at nation wide but that was countered by showing the puttaswami case in puttaswami case supreme court came up with the right to privacy as a fundamental right when you are conducting this kind of caste based survey obviously your right to privacy can be compromised the data can be leaked so this kind of issues may come up that is the reason in this caste survey also bihar government ensured that this particular parameters will be protected and respected so it can withstand in the legal battle key take away from the bihar caste and caste and survey surveys obc numbers revealed and in the obc level of course with these numbers they may demand that in the women reservation uh, the implementation of the obc women reservation should be uh, implemented you know like in the women reservation according to 106 constitution amendment act reservations or especially to scst and rest of the women reservation is to everyone so obc reservation is not there for that they may use this kind of data what are the challenges like i said earlier it may be challenged in the courts on the grounds of like data privacy or voluntariness in providing the data and uh, it may be challenged also that if you have a numbers and uh, there may be demand come up for the reservation for more than 50 percentage in the indira sahani case clearly supreme court mentioned that caste based reservation should not be more than 50 percentage okay even the ews reservations were also challenged in the court because 
when you add up the ews 10 percentage reservation the overall reservations will go beyond 50 percentage that was challenged but supreme court clearly mentioned that ews reservation is not based on the caste it based on the class economic reservation in terms of class you can you can cut you can consider certain group of people into separate group it was an interpretation of article 14 that was a supreme court justification here you have to remember that argument for caste census people who are supporting the caste census on the grounds that it will give data about the marginalized people and policy making judicial backing up okay judiciary also at some point of time it is supporting clearly mentioned that adequately representing so that adequately representing can be reinforced only through data and uh, uh, you know like uh, caste rigidities also can be loosened up and against against the people who are opposing this caste based uh, survey are that it may uh, raise the demand regarding the breach of 50 percent reservation and data privacy might be compromised so anonymity will be compromised and it may create it may create the identity crisis that means even though we are having this many numbers we are not represented rather than rather than diluting the caste identity this may promote the caste identity these are some of the criticism against the survey so why these kind of caste sen caste census are or caste surveys are in controversy they are in controversy because of various reasons they may be politically manipulated and data censoring and vote bank politics it can be used for because in poll bound states especially they will give promises based on this kind of data that is the reason these are always in controversy otherwise you know if the government would like to use this data for a positive purpose everyone will welcome no one will object to this kind of things and like i said earlier now as we are reaching to the end of this video now we are going to see the socio-economic caste census what is this all about here we are using the word caste and we are using the word census as you are right here we are doing the census not in terms of individual we are doing census in terms of what households very very important households it will be carried by ministry of rural development and in this particular thing we will calculate the total number of households based on their caste according to the last survey around 24.49 crores households present in india and around 10.774 crores households they are experiencing the deprivation and the major difference between the socio-economic caste census and the caste census is this socio-economic caste census it is publicly available it is not confidential so data privacy is not a material not a thing here you know like because it is open to everyone so the sensitive information will not be revealed in the SECC whereas here in the caste census as it is involving in the some sensitive information it is keeping as a confidential information it is conducted at particular community caste census whereas the socio-economic caste census it is not towards particular community it can be towards any households and one is the SECC conducted by the Ministry of Rural Development whereas the caste census you know that conducted by the Ministry of Home Affairs so this is regarding the caste census versus SECC now we'll see the yesterday video question in a study which cells are found in COVID-19 patients boots well for a long-term immunity that is about the T cell T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes you know that these are the egg granulocytes of the WBC now today's video question as per the 2011 census which of the following states of India is most densely populated population density okay main question critically examine the need and rational behind conducting caste based census in India what is the need and what is the rational behind conducting the caste based census in India this is the main question as we reach to the end of this video we'll quickly revise in this video we discussed about Bihar releasing the caste survey and then we discussed about findings of this survey and the difference between the survey and I mean census and survey why they did not conduct a census what is the opinion of the B I mean partner high court what is the difference between the SECC and caste census how the census got originated it historical back I mean background so these are the details we discussed and this is a detailed analysis regarding the caste survey and the difference between the caste survey and caste census and socio-economic caste census